we can do as a people and as a movement against such reckless hate. We can refuse to be cowed. We can stand strong. We can be walk safe when you don't and see we them. will fight on. Because a child's life is worth fighting for. Because a woman's heart is worth fighting for. And because there is some good in this world and it is worth fighting for. children are still safe. Uh, we take that stand with precious life and with the people of the Lord so that their light for life will remain burning bright and will keep the path lit for mother and for baby, for all of our people and for the world. We take a stand against the grotesque triumphalism of a grinning Mary Lou MacDonald and Michelle O'Neill who post at the abortion celebration tried to declare the North was next, not as long as we stand in your way. And let's take a minute to thank you thanks to those who have stood strong despite the political consequences of such reckless hate, of MP MLEs like Jim Wells who you had here today. Child. That's integrity. TV like Carol Dolan, like the ever heroic and amazing Lashie McGrath, like Mary Butler, like Michael Collins, and like those who continue to stra stand strong even as their political parties try to beat down their right to have a conscience. And let's give thanks, and I'm saying this as a lifelong Republican and a proud Irish woman, let's give thanks too to Arlene Foster, who the day after the referendum, the day after the referendum rightly called out that grotesque display in Dublin Castle and who affirmed the DUP as a pro-life party. There have always been many, very often the majority, who capitulate to cruelty and to hate and to the oppression of the most vulnerable and helpless of all. Just like many of our politicians now, there have always been many who took evil by the hand and who embraced the consequences. But standing strong, there have always been, sometimes just a few, who stood for justice and for peace and for real compassion. And it is their names, your names, that will be written in history when we rewrite this wrong and when abortion is banned and made unthinkable. Because in the end, in the end, abortion is an evil that will destroy itself and we will overcome. As Tim Jackson wrote, in the day after the referendum, this will not be the last word. While the deconstruction of the island of saints and scholars is nearing completion, the architects in their haste have forgotten to ask, who will inherit this land? Is it those who kill their young or those of us who welcome every child as a gift? together as long as there is breath in our body we will stand for life because this is our land and we will not rest until it is both north and south a pro-life light to the world once again for a new life. much Neve again please folks let's give it up one more time for all the hard work of Neve, all the hard work of Steve the East Campaign, all the hard work of pro life in Gerard Ireland this year.
That was my fault. <laughs> Folks, next we've got another wee bit of music, because we all love a wee bit of music. And this is Claire Louise, who I'd love to introduce you to.